Well, hey, brother, it's great to be in the studio and great to have an opportunity to talk to our WTLN listeners. And today, I wanted to give our listeners an opportunity to hear about a conference that we're putting on May 29th through May 31st this year. It's a Friday night, all day Saturday and Sunday morning conference, and it's our 2015 Call for Discernment conference entitled A Call to Arms. And during that conference, we're going to be discussing how to protect your children and family from media's menacing dark side. And we have with us a guest speaker for that conference, Trace Embry, and Trace is a nationally syndicated radio host of Licensed to Parent. He's also the founder of Shepherds Hill Academy in Georgia, a residential counseling program for troubled teens. And Trace is an expert in this field, has been working in this field for 25 years, and grateful to have Trace with us for the conference. Trace, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, brother. Oh, fantastic. Well, we look forward to this conference. It's something that our parents and uh, even our kids are anticipating, and they want to hear more on this subject. And I know our folks, our listeners out there, on WTLN are interested in what the conference is going to be about. And I guess with respect to that, I wanted to ask you a question uh, and let you talk for a little bit and give our folks an introduction to what we're going to be talking about on that day. And the question is this, you know, many parents today appear to be little concerned with the impact uh, that our culture is having on our kids. So what kind of negative influence do you see that our culture is having and how is that affecting how our kids are growing up today? Well, the culture is the other parent. And when, uh, when you've got Sodom and Gomorrah in your hip pocket 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 800 channels of uh, ancient Rome and Greece, and uh, it's not only piped into our homes, but even into our kids' bedrooms, you've got a major problem there. And so our kids are being indoctrinated with a worldview that is anti-Christ. It's, it's a postmodern worldview. Uh, and so uh, they redefine terms differently, and uh, their whole value system is, is different than ours is. And you know, they, they, they will use godly terms. Uh, they'll, they'll use the word love and freedom and, and grace and things like that, but they're, fin- they're defining those things with the devil's dictionary. And a lot of parents assume that their kids are, are doing the right things and uh, having the right attitudes and thinking the right thoughts because they go to church every Sunday. Uh, but uh, when you look at George Barnes' statistics and, uh, and others, uh, and of course we have a proving ground at Shepherd's Hill Academy to, to know that it's not that way, and, and kids are very, very um, good at uh, compartmentalizing not just their lives, but their faith as well. So you can have a uh, a kid who's attending uh, church services every Sunday, maybe even raising his hands in worship to God, and then maybe dealing drugs out of the park, out of the church parking lot that evening. So uh, this is a real problem, and uh, it breeds a lot of insecurity, and it, of course it makes the church look. Uh, hypocritical and uh, what it's doing to our culture. It's a vicious cycle. It's like a dog chasing its tail. And so the, the, the bottom line is, is we've got to come to, to determine where we're going to take our cues from life uh, from. Are we going to take it from uh, our little digital devices? Are we going to take it from one another, the public school system? Or are we going to take it from uh, where Christians have taken it from the beginning, uh, uh, and that's the, the Word of God? Amen. Yeah, it appears to me, Trace, that uh, in my experience with parents and in talking to kids, that uh, often parents can be really naive to these things. They don't uh, see uh, the influence that's out there. They're not aware of what their kids are involved in. Um, what is, what's your experience with that? How can parents um, assess you know, what their kids are doing or the environment that's influencing them? I mean, what's, uh, what's the best way for a parent to really understand what's going on? Well, they're going to have to pull their heads out of the sand and, and pull their noses out of their own devices as well. And uh, we, we live in a society where parents have worked themselves to, uh, themselves to death uh, trying to pursue the American nightmare, and our kids have entertained themselves to death. And the bottom line is, if the devil can't make you bad, he'll make you busy. And uh, we've all, uh, we, we kind of go like monkeys on a vine. We don't turn loose of this activity until we have another one in our hands. And so consequently, there's no margin in life to uh, really assess anything. Uh, and again, in a postmodern world, we live our lives by feeling. So as long as I'm feeling good, uh, things must be good, but you know what? Uh, drunks feel good. Uh, drug addicts feel good. Anyone addicted to whatever they're addicted to feels good as long as they have what they're addicted to uh, at their disposal. And we become addicted to dig- digital technology, and it's come uh, upon us so fast and hard uh, in the last uh, 20 or so years particularly uh, that um, we, we have uh, just kind of morphed into this addiction, and it is an addiction. China considers... Uh, video games alone, their number one public health threat. 
And uh, we have not come to realize that yet, but I see it every day here at Shepherd's Hill Academy and in the, uh, the, uh, the churches I go to when I, when I share some of these things. It's amazing. And, and the thing is, the, uh, the addict never knows they're addicted. It always takes an outside objective source to say, hey, you've got a problem with this. You're spending too much time in this area. You've devoted all your energies uh, in this area. And who gets neglected? It's the kids. And so the kids are going to go, you know, they're going to find security somewhere. They're going to find identity somewhere, belonging, uh, purpose, meaning, and all that. And uh, unfortunately, it's too often in sex, drugs, rock and roll, gangs, and guns. Oh, thank you for that information, Trace. And yeah, maybe a, a first step, obviously, for parents to begin investigating this would be to look up information from you and your website. Can you give our listeners, Trace, uh, where they can go to find more information about your ministry and maybe more information about how they can protect their family? Sure. Uh, I'd say uh, uh, the first thing they need to do is uh, get ready to, to go to the Call of Arms, uh, Call to Arms uh, conference. But our website is licensedtoparent.org, licensedtoparent.org. They can go to our, our residential program uh, website, helpmytroubledteen.org, helpmytroubledteen.org. Oh, thank you, brother. Well, this has been guest speaker Trace Embry, again, a nationally syndicated radio host of Licensed to Parent. And you can find more information by going to our website to uh, sign up for the conference. We'd love to see you there. It's protectthefamily.net protectthefamily.net. That conference is May 29th through May 31st. It's a ministry of Cornerstone Baptist Church at cornerstoneorlando.org. And we want to help you protect your family, protect your kids from media's menacing dark side. It's a call to arms, our 2015 Call for Discernment Conference. We hope to see you there. God bless you.